Hi, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Today's video, I am doing a closet clear out vlog sale. It has been a very long time since I have done a vlog sale, well over a year. I get asked all the time, where do I sell my things? Nine times out of 10 on Instagram, but there was just too many items. It was just easier to sit down and make a video today. And that way I can also show you close-ups. I'm gonna show you everything that you're going to get with these items. Um, so a few little things before we get started. I know this always makes people quite angry with me, and I'm sorry, but this is uh, USA only. It is so difficult to ship with customs right now. Um, it's just a lot easier for me. So I do apologize in advance. Um, so you may not want to watch and I, I totally understand that. Um, it is going to be first come first serve. Um, all sales are final and I will only be accepting Zelle as payment. I will have all that listed down below. I will also have the prices of everything down below. Um, I will list my email down below and that is the way to contact me. Um, I will not be messaging back and forth on here. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. I am going to allot some time when this video goes live to just completely answer emails. But if we get into the weekend, you know, it may take me a little bit longer to get back to you because, you know, I have things to do and all that good stuff. But um, if you have any other questions, you know, email me, ask me. But I, I do ask, please, serious inquiries only. So let's get into it. I have a ton of small leather goods. I keep telling you guys that I am going to have a small leather goods sale and I am doing it today. And I have a couple of handbags as well. I just, I'm tired of switching out small leather goods. I'm over them <laughs> and I'll explain why the handbags are going when I get to those because um, I think they're beautiful. I think the small leather goods are beautiful, but one thing that I have learned between 2020 and 2021 is I don't need so many things in my life. So I'm going to start with the first thing and that is from YSL or St. Laurent, however you would like to say it. And that is my red card holder. This is gorgeous. This took a lot of time to decide to part with. I very, very rarely use card holders and I still have more than I need after letting this one go. This one is fabulous. It has the two slots on the front, the two slots on the back. It is the grained leather that kind of reminds me of Chanel's caviar leather. It has the gold hardware and then the center slot here. And the center slot on this one is um, all leather lined. Let me see if the, these slots are too. Yeah, this one is, this is all leather lined. So there's that and the I found this with it. The color is new lipstick so I will put that in. It's not wanting to focus but it just says new lipstick. That's not exciting. <laughs> the dust bag. I do have the original box that um, just says new lipstick and it has the the number, uh, the item number on the side. So you will get all of that and I will course put it into the um, dust bag. The second one that I have for you is also from St. Laurent. This is my newest purchase from them. I did not realize how big this was. It's not big, but if you compare it to my Zoe wallets, which I talk about all the time, it's significantly larger than that. And that is the trifold wallet and the color of this one, they say rouge, eros, E-R-O-S. I don't know. I can't say that. But anyways, here's the wallet. This one has the silver hardware. Let me show you the difference in the color of these. This one's like a deeper red. This is like a more cherry red. But here it is. The back has a slit compartment there. And then the inside has eight credit card slots. Got three on each side and then two going sideways. A full compartment for bills. And this is all leather lined through here. I don't know if all the slots are, it doesn't feel like the slots are all leather lined, but the um, bill compartment is. There is still plastic on the zipper here. 
and then there is the change compartment and that is not that's not leather in there either but the build part is at least it feels like it is <laughs> there is all Saint Laurent items are made in Italy and this one will come with the dust bag I do have the um, Christmas uh, packaging for this one still and the little booklet that went with this one and then I also have the the little ticket here there we go and I will include that as well okay the next one so there there's no flaws to be noted with either of these so just want to point that out if there is a flaw I will let you know the next one is Louis Vuitton and it will come with a little drawer box and it will come with the dust bag of course and this is the jungle um, print zippy coin purse jungle monogram zippy coin purse and I think this is gorgeous this was another one that was super super hard to let go I don't know if I've ever used this and I know if I have it's not very many times so that can be the front or the back just depending on what you want it to be. And there is the other side. The zipper pull on this has this beautiful little flowers in the black and white, well the, the white <laughs> on the black zipper pull. And inside this you've got one, two, three, four, five, six slots on either side and then you've got one in the center. So I'll do my best to show that to you. So you got three here. Here's the one in the center. And the center has the black and white flower print. And then you've got three on the back here. And this one is um, made in France. So there is that. And it has the um, metal gold zipper pull. I did a video years ago about this one versus the Chanel Zippy Coin Purse. Not this particular one. It was in Rose Ballerine. And um, I love this one so much better. But again, I'm using my Zoe wallets pretty much for everything. So letting this one go. And let me grab some more because that was all that would fit on the desk. Okay, so the next three are all Chanel small leather goods. The first one is the mini O case. And this one is in the Camellia pattern in lambskin with silver hardware. There's the front. Here is the back. It has the leather zipper pull. What I've always thought was so cute about these, on the end of the zipper there, it has the little CCs. Isn't that cute? And this one does have the, uh, oh, the authenticity card, of course. There's that. And it does have the wipeable lining. A lot of these do not have the wipeable lining. This does have a black interior. It is made in Italy. I am going to turn the camera around just to show you uh, close-ups on the lambskin, but you will of course get the authenticity card, the dust bag, the little care booklet, and the Chanel Chanel box. So that will all come. Let me turn the uh, camera around just to show you this a little bit more close-up. Okay, so just a little close-up. See that the lambskin kind of gets a little bit of wrinkles, but I think this is an absolutely excellent condition. Here is the back of it. So the next item is my Chanel Caviar Classic Card Holder. I just never use card holders, as I said, and I still have plenty left. So of course, here is the um, authenticity card. You will get that. You will get the velvet dust bag that says Chanel on it and the little booklet that they give with small leather goods and this one is in absolutely perfect condition it is just black caviar with gold you have one slit here on the back you have two slits there and then on the center one and there is a little lip of um, leather that goes around the top and then there it's fabric and this one is made in Italy and so was the last one as well so there is that and then the last small leather good here is the box for this one and of course 
the Chanel box. So these are all going to come um, as full sets. So this one, again, the little care booklet, the drawstring dust bag, and this is the small mini who knows what they call this this is the o case that i just call a cosmetic pouch and this is in a very soft washed caviar leather and it has the champagne gold hardware and the nice metal zipper and let's see the authenticity card and the inside of this one is burgundy this one is made in Italy. It has a little gusseted back pocket. Um, all of these things I know have not been used in a full year. So it was as hard as it is to let these things go because they are so beautiful. It's just silly. I've said it my entire time on YouTube. It's silly to leave things sitting on your shelf that aren't being used. So that is this one and I will turn the camera around um, so you can see it is a really really soft soft caviar there is nothing wrong with it but I just want you to see close-ups of it okay so there is the front of it the side turn over to the back there and the other side and the bottom and a better view of that beautiful beautiful interior and this one is also the wipeable lining which is really really nice okay so the next two items are the handbags and as I said in the beginning of the video I'm going to tell you why I am letting these go both of these I thought about letting go last year I have held on more than eight months to both of them just to really make sure that I want to let them go. I probably need to let go of a few more handbags. I am really, oh, how do I say it? I'm, I'm really just changing the way I'm thinking about handbags and I am pretty much everything in my collection. It needs to have a purpose and be used. Being beautiful is not enough of a reason for me to keep these things, even though they are. So currently what I really like carrying are top handle crossbody bags. I hardly ever wear shoulder bags. I don't think I've used either of these bags in over a year. Um, there's probably some pictures of them on Instagram. That is, unless you see them outside of the house, it doesn't mean they necessarily went out that day. Um, sometimes, yes, but not always, you know, a lot of times I just take pictures for fun. So that is why I'm letting them go. They are both shoulder bags. They are classic bags. They're both Chanel. Um, and I tend to not let go of classic bags, but I will give you my reasons for them further as I show you the bags. The first one, this was, a, they're both were very hard decisions, but the first one is my Chanel medium flap in the blue lambskin and it was just called blue that's all it was called that year i don't see this color very often um i i think this color came out i saw one um on fashion file from 2012 and it's hard to say if it's the exact same color or not but the um the leather uh woven through the chain was broken on that one but um, this one's much newer than that. I haven't had it that long. I think three, maybe three years. But I just, I have made no, you know, no apologies about how I feel about Chanel lambskin. I have a lot of videos about it. It's not my cup of tea. I prefer caviar. And I have been watching video after video lately of people saying they cannot stand caviar. It feels like plastic. And they've been selling theirs to get lambskin. It's all just a matter of taste. There's nothing wrong with either of them, but I'm also preferring gold hardware. So I have another medium flap and it is black and gold. And to me, this particular size is a dressy bag that I tend to wear on dates. And I tend to grab that one more than this one. So that is why I'm letting it go. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you go on my channel, you can, uh, just type in the search engine Chanel lambskin and I you know I tell you all my thoughts about it and um, 
I would not purchase another one for myself, but I know people who would never purchase another caviar bag either. So we all just feel very, very differently on that, and that's fine. I suggest also that you head to my Instagram and scroll through because this bag is such a chameleon. It can be dark navy, it can be lighter blue. I mean, it just, like, what it looks like in the monitor is what it looks like to me right now, but if you get it in the sunlight or if you're out in the evening, it's just a very, very interesting color, a very hard to come by color. So this one is, of course, the double flap. And the first day that I used it, and I have a video on it, <laughs> it got marks right here from the zipper pull. I will turn the camera around. You, know, you can't actually see that, but I will turn the camera around and I wanna make sure you can really see the bag. Of course, has the little love letter pocket here and the little slit down here, which I have never once used ever. And then, of course, it's all blue inside. This one um, doesn't have any contrast color inside. This easily fits an iPhone in the front part and I have a, a iPhone X so it fits a fairly good uh, size one. This one is made in France. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. I always get so many compliments when I show this and a lot of people asking if I was going to sell this one so I am gonna let it go finally. But let me turn the camera around and really show you the inside and the outside and um, all about the lambskin. Okay, so let's look at the Chanel lambskin and hopefully you will be able to see what I am talking about when I talk about marks. Now, the way I'm looking at it right now, I see nothing on it, but I know there are marks on it. Lambskin is very tricky like that. It is absolutely stunning, and if you look at it like this, and we are pretty close up, and with a lot of light, you don't see anything. But I want you to be very aware there are marks on this, and I have several videos on this, so you may want to watch some of those and see if some of those have better angles. Um, I'm trying my best, and I hope that it will show. So there's just little tiny little tiny hairline marks. The biggest one is right here. Sometimes if I turn to the side, oh, it's just not cooperating very well. There we go, there we go, yes. <laughs> I want you to be able to see that. So there's one there, there's one here, there's one here. Let's get closer, there we go. Okay, I just want whoever buys this to be very, very happy with it. It is a gorgeous bag, but I want you to be aware that Chanel Lamb, it, ha it does mark, it just does. That's the worst one right there. So the bottom, there are some through here as well. Let me back this up a little bit. The sides look fine to me. Um, both sides, they look fine to me. The back, again, has some marks on it as well. You can kind of see them. Try to get close and get the light to hit it. <laughs> so there is the back. Like there's one right there, I can see pretty good. Okay, the bottom is a little bit easier to see. Definitely some marks on the bottom. And I have not ever used a um, leather conditioner on this, so I'm not sure if that would make a really big difference or not, but you might want to um, ask uh, Chanel about that. I just have not done that. So inside you can immediately see where I was talking about the very first time I used the bag and that is from that zipper right there. There's just some little marks throughout and of course right here from the chain and right there from the chain. And then in the front here there are some marks 
on the inner flap show you down in there and that is from my fingernails I am sure there's a little tiny thing right there and then here is the interior of the bag of course it is clean very pristine and that's that so let's see maybe you can see kind of yeah there kind of see a little bit of how the the lamb is there so let me show you um, what will come with the bag let me scoot this out of the way here and so what's going to come with it is going to be turn this around the care booklet and the um the little cleaning cloth in here and then you're going to get the original um, box that came with it and of course the authenticity card and this is a 25 series and here is the camellia and the ribbon and I am not very good at tying this but I will include it it did come wrapped in this mesh little cloth bag so I will do that there is the felt so this felt here goes over the turn lock in between the turn lock and the bag and this one goes where the chains are near it and you've got this little piece of foam which only comes with the lambskin bags I've never gotten it with another bag and then of course the classic dust bag and then also the um, original tissue paper here and the very last item for today's vlog sale which also <laughs> was a hard decision and that is my Chanel 225 the one that Coco designed in the 226 or in the jumbo size um, the boutiques tend to go by the name jumbo size now more than they do 226 this is in the stunning distressed calf skin leather with ruthenium hardware it's just it's an edgy beautiful bag of course it has the smile pocket in the back and this one has the mademoiselle turn lock and of course it has the chains and this one I think a lot of people I've worn it crossbody like maybe once but I think a lot of people can very easily do that and you just pull it it's very simple to um, pull the chains to to make it crossbody so this one has the rectangular mademoiselle and then in the side inside you have the love pocket and again the slip back here inside here you have that gorgeous burgundy lining and there are the two cc's this one is also made in france which is pretty rare to find on these the mediums tend to be made in france more and these tend to be made in italy and um, it has a very big front compartment this holds a lot this bag is so lightweight compared to the jumbo flap it is just what a difference it is so so lightweight but um there's absolutely nothing wrong with this bag at all i am going to turn the camera around though and show you you know very good close-ups of this one okay so the reissue you can really see how gorgeous that that distressed calf skin is it's absolutely beautiful and the mademoiselle lock on the mademoiselle lock let's move these chains it says Chanel there at the bottom very subtle I love the ruthenium hardware absolutely gorgeous here is the side of the bag and the other side so you can bend this in so it's pointy like the top and it actually was meant to be able to go for um, travel or storage and be able to go flat I put the bottom flat like this the day that I got it because if you leave it bended you always have to have your bag laying down you cannot set it up it won't support that so let's look at the chains up close they're absolutely stunning they have so much detail can you see that the little center one has like etching on it very pretty here is 
the back of the bag. And let's look at the interior. So here is the top of the flap. And there's the little slit compartment there. Here you can really see the distressing. Okay, so there is a little mark on these, on both of these from the chain. So I did not notice that. So make sure you can see that. Then the gorgeous burgundy interior. And again, made in France. And again, very clean interior, of course. And then the front part, can you see that the back here is burgundy? Well, the front is burgundy. And then the back is that distressed calf right there. It's very easy to close. And that's with nothing in it at all. So it's very simple to close. And then what will come with it? Here we go. The authenticity card. And this one is also a 25 series, the camellia and the ribbon, and then the felt, the felt that goes for the, the mademoiselle lock, and the one that goes in between the chain. Of course your classic dust bag, and the care booklet with the cleaning cloth down in there. The original box that I received with the Chanel tissue paper in it. So again, if you're interested in anything, my email will be down below. It is luxpurselove at um, gmail.com. And if you have any questions, if you want some more pictures, please again, I do ask that only serious inquiries only. And again, I am gonna take some time today and block it off just to respond to emails as quickly as possible. And I will get back to you if you know if it gets later in the day and I get busy, I will get back to you and also keep in mind I am on central time. So you may be up later than me, up earlier than me, you know, but I will get back to you. I hope you have a great weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.